Hi, this is Jerry from AppDataWorks IT Consulting Services. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure TeamViewer to allow you to gain remote access to a computer that is running TeamViewer without there actually being a user logged onto that computer. Now this is particularly useful if, say for instance, you have to remotely control your work computer from home and there's nobody there, say it's the weekend or at night, and for whatever reason, a software upgrade, a Windows update, you need to reboot that computer remotely. Well, you still need to be able to log back in with TeamViewer and continue your work. And so I'm going to show you how to configure TeamViewer to allow you to do that. Now, I have two computers, more than two, but I have two computers with TeamViewer here in the office, and I've already configured the second computer to allow logging in when there is no user logged into that computer. So to allow logging in with TeamViewer, I should say. Now, I've already restarted that computer, so it is sitting with a login screen and nobody is logged in. Now I can't really show you that. It's impossible for me to do that. If I flip my KVM switch over, I'm going to lose the microphone. So you just have to trust me that I have the computer sitting there. I rebooted it. It's waiting to be logged in and nobody's logged in. It's configured to have Team Viewer allow this type of uh, remote control login. What you need to do is on the computer, on any computer that you want to be able to log into remotely after a reboot, is you're going to open up Team Viewer, you're going to click Extras, Options, and then this checkbox right here is what you're, you're going to want to make sure is checked. When you check this checkbox, it's basically going to cause Team Viewer to run as a service in the background. TeamViewer will be registered as a system service and therefore automatically started when Windows starts. You will be able to establish a remote control session before logging onto Windows. We recommend this option when permanent access is indispensable. Okay, so your computer's logged in, it's not logged in, it's been rebooted, you need to access it remotely. And that's what you're going to do on, the, on each computer that you need to be able to gain access to from somewhere else. So this has already been set up on the other PC in my office. So we're going to now demonstrate that. So the computer is the recording PC. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to click remote control using password. Okay, this you have to use this option for this. If you try using this option, it's just going to fail. Okay, you need to be able to log into the remote computer using a password. When you configure to this and saved this, you would have put in a, a computer name and a password. So now you click this and you'll see down here it says connecting, authenticating, and bang, that's it. So now as you can see, the computer's sitting here waiting to be logged in and nobody's logged in. So I'll put in my password and log into the computer. And it's that simple. This is Jerry from AppDataWorks IT Consulting Services. Have an awesome day.